think we've always been at this mutual interest in clothing, you know, whether it's been looking at blogs or appreciating like websites or, or other brands. And we just thought, you know, how about we, we create something ourselves and, you know, see how that works out. And it wasn't necessarily starting a brand, it's just about creating something and, and creating a few pieces that we thought were cool. And then that's how the hood slowly came about and that's how it evolved and that's how it became strange. We've been fortunate in, in, uh, in getting on very well with each other and, and making the best of situations and also I I enjoying that, the, the heights that they've been in a way that's, that's beyond and uh, above just a working relationship. The way that we realised that there was, there was an opportunity in the market space was through developing the product that, that we wanted ourselves. That we uh, that we thought other people would enjoy, and through trialing it, through opening the brand with a with a soft launch and doing a preview collection, um, it, it, there was a, there was an opportunity to actually gain feedback. I think that was critical for us in, in knowing how uh, how we how we'd actually um, progress in, in in the market. We had a. a Kind of an ambition, certainly to create within the hood line, that was attention to detail and, and using quality fabrics and and um, an adherence to, to, to tailoring, but, but sort of folding it into a into a casual wear item. It's easy to get lost in what the people are doing, you know, and looking at, at other brands and thinking this is what we need to be doing, this is what we need to be doing, and and that's like you know it's dangerous because you know you could absolutely you could make a hood, you could produce it in cheaper, cheaper countries and we could use you know, not so expensive zips and, and cord ends, but the quality wouldn't be there and that's not what our customer likes and it's not what we want. Referring back to what we discussed before of, of you know, having a partner there where you're able to kind of you know, take the, the highs and the lows, when those, uh, when those lows are coming in you weren't getting exactly what you wanted. Um, um, it was it was great to have somebody else there to share it with because that was that was that I'd say was the biggest hurdle for us. I think you've got to try and take perspective and say, look, this is a long term plan. This this isn't just of making a quick buck of like of a, of you know of, of, a, of, a, of a cheap item. This is the idea is to build a brand that has longevity. What we see for the brand, I think it's something that is long lasting and has integrity and is is far reaching. It's about, it's about the long term. It's about, hopefully, in, in 5, 10, 15, 20 years time, we, we, we're still here and, and, and the strangest is still going.